in Times Square. This is Good Morning America. Have a holly, jolly Christmas. And GMA is helping you put money back in your pocket so you can spend big on your family this holiday. Most people have around a thousand dollars in hidden money found in their home. The toys, tech gifts, and even boxes that could be worth big bucks right now. I want to switch gears now to GMA on the money. Um, Americans will spend an average of eight hundred and five dollars on Christmas shopping this year alone. ABC's Mara Scavocampo is going to show us how to find some hidden cash in your home to help pay for all those gifts. For the Mulders, the gift of giving can come with a hefty hey. price Sorry. tag. Sorry, your turn, Jake. Thanks to five kids under eight. Do you want them to have that all-out big Christmas? Yeah, we want them to have a really a good Christmas morning and a really fun time. The family spending about $1,000 last year, but it turns out there may be hidden holiday cash right in their house. Enter money-saving expert Lauren Grudman. How much hidden money do you think most people have in their home? I think most people have around $1,000 in hidden money found in their home. $1,000? Thousand dollars just sitting there. First, Grootman says, did you know there's money in old toys? Clothes, too. Things that sell really well are timeless toys like Thomas the Train, Mr. Potato Head, and My Little Ponies. Using the website Swap.com, the Mulders fill two boxes with toys in good condition and clothes that are in season. The company pays for shipping, and once the boxes arrive at their warehouse, they'll be put up for sale on the website. On average, sellers earn about $150 per box. And bonus points? Save the boxes your toys come in. Those can be worth cash, too. An American Girl doll box can fetch as much as $30 on eBay. Next up, old e electronics, even broken ones. Check out websites like kibu.com. Just box up your items and send them to their California office where they will inspect, price, and post your electronics. Two smartphones and an airport express expected to fetch Christie about $100. And finally, even old books can make a buck. Using the Amazon seller app, Christie scans the book's barcodes to find out how much they're worth. Then she sets the price price before sending them off to Amazon, who will sell them. This book is worth $74.50. Bringing in a whopping $196. In total, the Mulders found $656, making this Christmas a little merrier. How is that going to impact Christmas? Well, it's going to help out a lot. Maybe we'll make sure we get gifts for each other this year. <laughs>